So what I want to achieve next now is I want to send a request which returns all the users stored in our database. How can we achieve this? Well, by first getting rid of our code right here. We'll also type a new response code so we can delete it for the moment. And in our constant, we use again users and now our find method. Now with find, we can now search the documents stored in the database and then get back the users in theory. But actually, I would like to be a bit more explicit here. I would like to find only the email and the name, so I don't want to return the password of a specific user. As I said, we are not finished with our security and authentication part, this will be covered later, but generally, actually, when we get the users, we should actually return email and name. Now we have different options to do so. By the way, we also used find already here in the places controller, here with get places by user ID, down here we use find, here we refer to a specific property. This time I would like to refer to two different properties, namely the email and the name. And we have two options to do this. We will use the concept of projection right here. This works by adding an empty JavaScript object. And now we can either add email and name like this. So this would return the email and the name, or we can simply add a minus sign here and now exclude our password. I'll follow this approach here, both work fine for our purposes. However, storing it as a constant here won't work because as we know, find is an asynchronous task. Therefore, let's first add as async up here. And now what will we do? Well, we'll again create let users here because we will wrap our code in a try catch block once again. Therefore, we'll add the code right here, get rid of our constant and add a wait ahead of users. So that's the try block. And now once again, in case this is, does not work, then we catch the error by storing it in a constant. It's always the same approach in the end. And now return fetching users failed. Please try again later. Error code 500 and return next error. So with that, we can get the users. And if this is successful, then we have to get a response, of course, and our response will again be a JSON response, which will be of users. But now again, users.map, because again, find returns an array, so we cannot convert this into a default JavaScript object. Therefore, we'll add the map method right here, and now say that our user should be turned into a default JavaScript object. Now the syntax is working again, and with that, we can again use get set getters to true to get rid of our ID that will be returned. And if we save that, we can now, if we check our routes again, go to slash users, as you can see, no need for sign up or login anymore as we only want to get the users. So we can get rid of login right here. And if we now send a get request without any information in the body, so this is of course not required. If we send it, we get back our user menu right here. So not very spectacular as we only have one user, but it seems to work. Let's now add a second user quickly. So here at our API users sign up route, body, raw, JSON. And let's quickly add the name, which could be Max. We have the email, maybe test2 at test.com. We have the password, which could be testers two here and we have a place the places let's say new york this should of course be a post request here if we send this storing the user seems to be successful let's go back to our get request send it and now you can see we get back both menu and max this works fine. Let's now also see whether it worked in our database. So let's reload this right here. And as you can see, we got both max and menu stored in the database. 
So getting the users also works fine now. There is one crucial thing missing though. And this crucial thing is of course the relation between our places and our users. At the moment I'm using some dummy code here, here for our places in the users.js file and here for the creator in the place.js file. And we also enter the place manually if we create a new user. So this code down here where we add the places. This should of course be changed now. And that's actually the last crucial step here in this MongoDB module. So let's continue with that.